Welcome to Spa. So they speak French here. Do they have a modern language here in Belgium? Like Belgium language? Belgium English? Do you guys speak Belgium in here? So it's Thursday, we just arrived and we are in the centrum of Spa, the city itself, and we're heading towards the track. Hopefully Alex and Harry has put up the awning. <laughs> and no ticket. No parking ticket? No parking ticket. I like Belgium already. Why, Dad? Because you came out of my balls. <laughs> this place is so freaking big, I will get lost so many times. Have you been here before? Nope. I can't even spell or say Oosh Roosh. How do you that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just passed it. Wait! Oh, no. <laughs> Very good. I'm happy to see us again. No. Spraying the windows. Should I spray your lens? No. <laughs> no. This time we have planned to not be late. So we're not gonna stay up till midnight doing our stuff. We actually have more people this time. We have more rappers, more mechanics. Should give us some room to get to sleep. So the last Backer Life episode from Barcelona, I just want to say a huge thanks to everyone that comment and want to come and help out. So obviously it's, you know, there is rules with armbands, with entry tickets and all that stuff, which is also very expensive too. <laughs> it's not like we don't want help, but it's just a little bit chaotic to, to get help. If it was up to me alone in, uh, and if I had the cash enough, I would let all you guys into our team and do whatever you like to do. The cars have been in Sweden since they left Barcelona. They went to Sweden and now they're coming back. They did a test in Sweden Monday, Tuesday. The group will set up the EKS tent tonight and everything will be ready for tomorrow. We get the cars here at 8 p.m. tonight. We start wrapping them then. I go early to bed, go up early, continuing wrapping. Alex, what are you doing? Look at this balcony Alex made us. First look at the track. Hard surface with uh, gravel on top. Slipping and sliding. Hey, hey. Oh, ah. 20 hours awake. Brand new, mate. New haircut, yeah. yeah. In Sweden, in Bergen. In Bergen, yeah. Everything's in from Norway. Bergen. But no. In Norway. Every, Sweden is Bergen. <laughs> oh, you do need to clean the lens, though. It's like dust and shit. Yeah, it's... Oh, you're slacking. <laughs> but the standards have slipped. Yeah. You know what am I going to say? <laughs> <laughs> standards have slipped. Bye. <laughs> Hate that guy. Me too. What do you think about my swag today? Badass. Where is the podium? It, it looks actually pretty sick. What do you think about the track, Phil? <laughs> Hard to say. Say, it's actually uh, quite interesting, they have the uh, gravel section just directly after the start, so... There is possibilities to dig into gravel as well. And what worries me on a track like this is when you dig into the holes then it's easier to get punctures and punctures you can't really do anything with. I think we will see speed record here in the, on a rallycross car. Like downhill, and this yeah, is pretty yeah, steep. That, yeah, this is pretty true. steep. Where is breaking point? How do you think? <laughs> oh, I have no idea. <laughs> this is where you hope you never ever have any brake failures. Right, Krilla? Ah, don't make <laughs> no, me more nervous. No. <laughs> Easy 200 before we start braking. Yeah. It's fast. Big boss, small brain. Then you, you can do well here. So many. But I'm afraid for the gravel here. And I feel sorry for the fans sitting up there. Ah, this is. Actually, a pretty I cool track. The track is worth well, it's been a lot. So much better. If I just swear lots, you can't use it. <laughs> what is this here? You sure? Set it on. Pull, oh, pull the yellow thing and then squeeze it. Okay. okay. Oh. <laughs> there was nothing for us to do today, so we got early to bed. I've been waiting for three hours for one signature. <laughs> one <laughs> signature for the Andreas. For the Andreas. The Andreas. Yeah. Why has he got a Hanson bag? Why does it say Kevin Hanson? Nice Lexus. Bag. I do, do a burnout. Today wasn't actually much for us to do, so we actually took an early night back home to the hotel. It's actually before 8 p.m. I think. I've realized like you can't be working flat out trying to win a championship and also working with the team and structure at the same time. So after Barcelona, we, me and Liam have been sitting down and discussing how we want to proceed. We have got some great people uh, helping us sorting everything out. We have more structure and we have more control on uh, where we are and what we're gonna do. So uh, today I'm a happy guy. This race is probably 
one of the most important races to do well at. You know, I haven't won a race since Argentina 2016, I think November 27th, and that really is a pain in my ass. I've actually never done seasons before without winning until 2017 and 18. Even though I maybe didn't win in the rallycross, I would do a go-kart race and win a go-kart race or a cross-kart race or a rally or whatever. But no, it's actually been two years without any single victories in any types of motorsport. Someone has to film. Today we are going to wrap the car. Look at this beauty, Andreas. Liam, if I win this week, can I please have your car, mate? <laughs> Is that the best looking phone you've ever seen? Is now. Okay, cut to finished result. <laughs> Looks good though, huh? Not happy? Not happy. Just put it in the case and no one will see it. So Matthias is here this weekend and he has done a test in Sweden last week or last couple of days and was really successful. Hopefully we can find some more traction. Uh, will help us a lot in the starts. We have a, we have a good feeling for it. Flute should be good. So this is... This is a, a rouge. A rouge? This is a rouge. And? Rebellion. <laughs> Radion. Radio. 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 I also said yesterday we are in Spa Francia Corta, which yeah, is Francia Corta. Italy slash Belgium. <laughs> hey. Francia Corta Where is are the we Italian. Yeah. We are in Circuit de Spa Francio Champ. Champ. Franco Champ. <laughs> Franco Camp. Champ. Champ. Franco Go Camp. camp. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, you think it will feel quite slow coming up here? Yeah. Yeah. Andreas always say people come early if it's an event. Yeah. But there was no event. No. So why people come? <laughs> so now the question is, how do you politely tell them to you know, get out of the picture? Oh, we have now. problems here. Kick on, kick on, kick on, kick on, kick on. Nah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then. All right, so first snack box for the weekend. You guys are from Germany. Yes. She's from Brazil and I am from Germany. Some Brazilian snacks in there. Ooh. Nice. Oh, there we go. Oh, there. Yeah. It's always a winner. Hi, <laughs> boys. I saw those and I thought just like, oh, wait, it's back to blue. I must say thank you very much. We will uh, enjoy it. So, Obrigado. Obrigado. <laughs> All right, so on Facebook, these guys here have made a uh, Andreas Backerud uh, fan club in French. This guy have a yeah. jacket, French Backerud no fan. Way. If you are from France, make sure you go into the Facebook page, add in Andreas Backerud French fans. Do it now <laughs> rather than tomorrow. Nice. Oh. <laughs> have you not seen what I've done? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about that sticker back. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 So that was a nice day. Calm, easy, like it should be. It was very nice, actually. We didn't have any stress or any crazy stuff to do. It was like back to normal. First race in Barcelona. It was the first time with the new setup of trucks and trailers. Working with EKS in one awning and RX Cattel in the other awning and try to make a dynamic working together. We have everything, we have done everything. So now we are more relaxed and knowing how it should be. Yeah, it's more organized. That feels good. Uh, practice two starts at 10.20. But, but the problem we have then is the pre-grid is quite tight. Where did Leon go? All right. Hi, morning. Arouge. Radio. Frank Corta. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not even the right country. <laughs> Sorry, Leon. Today is a good day because today is a race day. Just want to see if it's any water piles. Or you? What's this? It's good. Bottoms up. Close my eyes. Hold my nose. Yeah. That's not bad. It's got ginger. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. Frank Corta. <laughs> 
Franco Champ. Welcome to Spa, Francia Quarter. <laughs> we are here. In Italy and Belgium, <laughs> here we are. Both. But yeah. I'm really impressed how the, the water isn't on top of the gravel. I don't know yeah. where it is though. No. It's got to be somewhere. I think it's in, and now it's really soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why am I drinking this? It's good for you, buddy. I can't believe you can see the whole track. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Fantastic, you know. Circuit this by Frank, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the turn one looks uh, good. We are ready for practice Saturday morning. Feeling is good, it's raining, sleeping here. Krilly is not too nervous. Are we going to see any more Captain America? <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> The damper seems like it's moving and then the roll bar is too hard in the front so it goes up again. Yeah. That last corner is so good. I'm flat, completely full, yeah. fifth year. Third, four, I'm, fifth. I'm full, and I'm full and fourth. He's one gear higher, sending it, and I'm like, I don't want to wrap your bumper, come on. Hey! <laughs> Race the car a lot. So we, we hit something underneath the car so we wrapped up uh, the sub guard in the rear. So that it's nothing big drama, it makes a lot of noise. <laughs> you good? I, I feel like the bumper is so expensive that yeah. you, you're going to check. And I was standing like Andres is checking the car. Uh-huh. And some bumpers there. Guys, that's my bumper. Yeah, it's yours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I was gonna take his bumper, yeah. stop, take his bumper inside sale, the car, know, like, go to a pit and yeah. sell it on eBay for all the fans. <laughs> It's bumpy out there now. Right, so the track is really getting rutted up. It was probably ruts this big, like half a meter. Uh... And you can't see them because there's like, I'd say, it's like this one with the growl a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see the edge. So you're coming in the corner, you're turning, you get a rotation, and then all of a sudden, ba bam, and this way, and then back in here, and the fence is in front of you, and then bam. The long gravel section is starting to be with chicanes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> My balaclava was on the gear tunnel and the gear tunnel is like 60 degrees hot and nice in a cold environment very nice Woo! Yeah, no, no <laughs> That was fantastic. That's completely fantastic. How did you pull that out? Because I was pretending the last two races. <laughs> what he did, I have no idea. I have no idea. Goosebumps by watching Liam. Holy crap, that was a good race from him. That was crazy. That was crazy. I win the first qualifying heat for uh, Oryx Hotel. Then Liam goes in after and win Q2. I don't know what to say. Oh, oh, full on hey, 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 hey. We are going to be there in like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you really want to do it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So if there's any reason to pull out the suit, then I think now is the time. Yeah. We need to use it every available time, you know? Come on, take some photos before you go. Not many people is here, but... No laughing. Yeah, Who's going first? Three. Name the camera. You can't! <laughs> <laughs> don't, you dare turn it on, I will punch you. I, I want to! <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you hear that? Have you been drinking, Andreas? <laughs> no. That's enough, mate. You're, you're good. <laughs> what? You kind of like it, don't you? I do not like it. <laughs> do you like it? Yes. So, as a, as a team principal and as a team driver, I'm extremely happy and proud today uh, that we are managing to be P1 and P2. And that's not only because of our driving, it's insanely good. It's the whole package. Also to you guys for supporting us. It's been some crazy months of work, so thank you very much. I can't say enough thank you, but thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's all about the small details, you know, you can change springs, dampers, roll bars, uh, ride height. I think really the result today is uh, hard work over a longer time of period and putting everything together. To be honest, start some wet with 600 brake horsepower, 850 newtons of torque. It's horrible. It's, it's like when you get it right, you get it super right. But if you get the wheel spin, it's so hard and you see all the other guys go and you need to wait for the tires to stop spinning because it's hard with the turbocharged engine to pick up the grip. And then when you get the grip, go back on gas, apply that to the, to the ground. I can't wait for tomorrow because hopefully better weather. The biggest improvements we have done this weekend is that we have actually won the starts. I saw Timmy was trying to do the exact same thing, but he doesn't go aggressive enough on the entry. Yeah, yeah. And then what happens here is he's going uh, that way, not that way. Yeah, like me. But I, I took all my energy off there and yeah. straight from there, basically. Yeah. I'm not talking like I'm the master. Yeah, you are. No, it's <laughs> never going to happen again. But in this corner, I am doing it very well. I'm trying to help if I can. 
every other track on every other corner, he's got to help me. So. <laughs> All right, so we have been driving from the track. Couldn't miss the ice cream bar. Do you have pistachio milkshake? Yeah, it's Sunday morning. We have already got a box with the waffles with more snacks. Bonjour. Is, is this your favorite? Favorite snacks? Thank you very much. Thank you. So, so it's the same, yeah? WRX 2019. Nice. How do I look in my balaclava? Anyway, we're getting ready for Q3, Sunday morning. If we take the start, put the be best time in, then much of the job for the weekend is done. If we don't take the start, uh, we have Kevin on my inside and Timmy on my outside and I can be in the sandwich. You need to be smart at the same time, try to be brave. <laughs> Hell or? Is this uh, from your place, Tom? Yeah. Yes. yeah. So what is this? Is this your favorite snacks? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, this is awesome. <laughs> With the Coca-Cola. We will enjoy this. I'm in the lead now and I have a few points down to P2 and P3. Liam, what did you do to your face? I shaved this stupid bet off is what I did. <laughs> Badass handlebars. But no, couldn't do it. So I slowed me down this morning. I went from P1 yesterday to like P13 in warm up and it must have been the facial hair. So I shaved it off and then I pulled myself back up a little bit. But hopefully the hair was the problem, nothing else. <laughs> he thinks I'm making excuses. So I'm I'll let you off. moment before the, the semi-final very nervous as always we put new tires on for the strategy in the start when you have new tires you have more grip you need to go up in rpm it's always tricky how much because i need a very good start next to me on the start is my teammate liam doran our idea is that if he is half a car length in front of me then i need to respect him and let him go if we're side by side then he will let me go and chug in behind me so it's important to have a, or nail the start to avoid any chaos i want to win <laughs> Il faut quelques minutes de patience hein, avant euh, le début euh, des euh, demi-finales euh, de World RX, le championnat du monde euh, Rally Cross, deux demi-finales de City, vous l'avez entendu prévu euh, au euh, programme. Euh, on vous le rappelle, les deux demi-finales du World RX, ensuite la finale du RX2 et enfin la finale euh, du euh, championnat du monde. C'est euh, le programme pour terminer euh, la journée ici sur euh, des euh, démonstrations de, de drift et notamment une dernière démonstration euh, de euh, trial pour euh, venir terminer. Seront terminés ici. À Bon, nous on va se retrouver dans, dans quelques instants, dans quelques...
was a pretty exciting uh, semi-final. Timur all the way through. I saw him so many times, I tried to block the door uh, and I managed only beating him with two tenths of a second. That's pretty crazy. Nice to see that Liam also got through in third. Both the cars to the final for the first time ever for RX Cartel. All right, wish me luck. Final next stop. Il va y avoir du sport, il va y avoir du très 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 grand spectacle pour cette finale du World RX. This music. It's beautiful, it's relaxing. It's legit, yeah. Where are we supporting you? We're going to <laughs> if it was anyone, if it was yeah, anyone, yeah, yeah. I think everybody here loves it. Thank you. It's oh, okay so to be so second great. behind you. It's so great to fight with you, man. Thank you. Thank you. You learn me. You teach me how. That where is the best line, actually? And yeah, I would have loved to win, but to be honest, I didn't have the speed enough. Timo was flying. I covered him well in the semis, but in the final, he was flying. So I tried to keep him uh, in a distance, but uh, at the end of the day, super stoked for second. We have managed to do such a great job inside the team. To come here, I think you all have seen a bit calmer situation this weekend. It's not been so much work. I just need to say a huge thank you to the Backer Blues back home in Bergen for helping me out with all the partners uh, and everybody involved, all the private persons, also to the RX Cartel, Liam Dora and Andrea, uh, and all the others uh, in EKS, mechanics, team management, everything. Now we go on this podium and uh, spray some champagne. What a fantastic final! Thank you. I'm happy for you, man. Yeah, yeah I, I can't believe, like, when I go out, like, I was first, oh, what to do now? What, <laughs> what to do, do now? now? <laughs> and, the and then you went white in really, the gravel yeah. the first lap. Yeah, first lap white, yeah. and then also your hairpin was white a little bit. I saw you inside, yeah. like, ah, yeah. shit, Timur, come on, concentrate now. And white, white, first entry was white, and then I was like, ah. And one lap I was stuck there on the gravel, like, yeah. you catch me maybe one second, I was like, ah. Come on, come on. That guys, was like guys, four. Like guys, stay inside, stay inside. To the joker lap, I was like, which to, what to do now? Really concentrate on joker lap. Maybe relax, maybe relax. Like, ah. <laughs> and then ex exit like, oh, fucking, I put all the sand in here. So. I was scared to drive really quick there. I'm whatever. scared of getting the puncture in this yeah. Uh, yeah. compression, you know? Oh, that one. I, I release the throttle really every time going over there a little bit. I and don't think about that. Either. But it was really slippery in the first corner, like yeah. no chance to go around the outside. Sometimes. Oh, grip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 
I was only like in Norway 2016 can be close to the first position. Yeah, yeah. Where is vodka? Yeah. Crowded in here, right? Yeah, Absolutely. Right. Tearing this place around. <laughs> Argentina 2016, this is my last win. I had a, a little finger on it, but uh, if it was one guy that was going to win this weekend, it's my good friend Timur. He loves Radicals. He has Radicals in his blood, and uh, this is a true character of the sport itself. So uh, it's it's really cool that he, he grabs the win, even though, of course, I would have loved to win. So, um, yeah. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Hi. I'm extremely bad loser. P2. It's sweet, bittersweet, you know? Very bittersweet. Ah, I bet all the backer blues back home in Bergen that was watching at Felix today in a big bar. And everybody was like, no, it's coming, it's coming now. Oh, okay, we need to be happy. I just need that win, you know, to feel satisfied. It is coming. Silverstone is next chance, less than two weeks. And then we have Norway and then we have Sweden after that. Three very good races. We definitely catch more up in the championship today, so that's a good thing. We bring that with us. We need to work hard and uh, efficient to, to be there.